All right, guys. So this process, the, 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 this podcast here is to review the, the process known as intramembranous ossification, which is a process that starts around week eight of pregnancy. And, and then it, it, it keeps going on, like, for quite a while. I'll talk about more about the length of this process in, in one second. And the other thing that you know about this process known as intermembranous um, ossification is that it will form the, the cranial skull bones and the clavicle. Uh, also, the manual, there are some exceptions to that, but essentially, like the, 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 the skull and the clavicle there. So, here's how this process, as the name says here, it's intramembranous ossification, so it's happening within a membrane. The specific membrane that is being used here, it's a membrane of fibrous connective tissue. And within this fibrous connective tissue, we're still talking about the baby, there are these um, undifferentiated um, type of cell that is known as the mesenchymal cells. So these mesenchymal cells can actually differentiate into other types of connective tissue cell. As you know, bone is a type of connective tissue. So, uh, and specifically those guys here would differentiate into uh, one, one very like a well-known uh, type of cell known as the osteoblast. So that's pretty much like set up like the, the, the actors that I, that I want to be explaining next. So let, let's see how that would take place here. All right, so before I move forward, let me add more lines here so we have more space to draw and, and write and whatever you want to write. So my the first step that you have, it's, it's the differentiation of the mesenchymal cells into osteoblasts. So I'm going to put like step number one here and then I'll draw it so you guys can have an idea of what it looks like. So mesenchymal cells differentiate or uh, into osteoblasts or, or well, another way to say that they become osteoblasts. So essentially what is happening here is that you have these fusiform cells known as as Oste uh, as mesenchymal cells, and there are many of them in the embryo, and, and they can differentiate into any type of connective tissue cell that they want to. And what did they actually do they, in, in, during this process? They become what is known as the, I'm going to put a narrow here, and they become what it's known as the osteoblast, and the osteoblast tends to be like a discuboidal cell, and they become like several of those osteoblasts. And this aggregate of osteoblasts here is known as the ossification center. So, uh, let, let, let's try to write down my, my step number two here. Um, formation of ossification center. So, which is what, which is essentially this aggregate of cells here, and what these osteoblasts like to do, is they like to 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 create to deposit bone um, bone matrix. Oops, I want that to be black. So they start depositing bone matrix around themselves. Each one of them starts doing it a little bit, and and as they're doing that, eventually those um, bone matrix actually fuse with each other, those particles here start fusing with each other and when they're doing that, they're actually encapsulating the osteoblast and when they then and when that actually happened, that osteoblast becomes uh, an osteocyte so the, that, that would be my, my step number three here so the osteoblast now trapped becomes 
osteocytes. And the function of these osteocytes is to maintain the bone matrix there. But what is interesting is that the, the pattern of the position of these guys here, the, the, this light that is highlighted in black here, creates these struds. See, like that. There's like one strut here, another strut here, another strut here, and these struts actually receive a name. These guys are known as the trabecula. All right, they're little beams, and and when they're doing that, this network of trabecula here, it's what we call as woven bone. So that would be like my step number four there. In, 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 as the, this ossification center expands and you have more and more osteocytes and more and more of this um, trabecula there, you create the, the oven bone. Oven bone uh, is formed. But interesting enough, the, the next thing that is going to happen right now is that like this uh, ossification center needs to be wrapped. And it's going to be wrapped by these uh, mesenchymal cells uh, again. But this time around, those mesenchymal cells, they're organizing themselves around this woven bone. And they're becoming uh, what we'll later on, we, we're going to be call it, it's periosteum. What is periosteum? Well, periosteum is this layer of fibrous connective tissue that wraps every bone of your body. So, and, and, and uh, I can put like more of this, uh, sorry, like, let's get like the, the stick of red, more osteo, mm. more osteoblasts here. And more bone material being deposited. So, this, these cells then, this, this uh, woven bone now wrapped by periosteum uh, will, will soon become vascularized. And before I do that, let, let me just like finish writing this here. That in, in, and then step number four, uh, woven bone and periosteum is formed. So... The, the the next step then is that is is that there is this blood vessel. I'm gonna put my blood vessels here. Magenta I should have used like red for them, but that's okay. These blood vessels start like to 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 invade this bone tissue here, like this woven bone, and then these osteoblasts now we actually organize themselves around this uh, the, this network. Uh, of uh, of blood vessels that you have there, as they do that, they can have the option then to become either compact bone or spongy bone. So, but uh, and, and uh, so what, what's going to happen then is that like this woven bone, I'm going to put like woven bone becomes either compact or lamellar bone. Or spongy bone. So uh, what what is interesting though is that like this uh, uh, at the same time that this is all happening, you're gonna have the the bone band marrow being like uh, formed here. There is an accumulation of, of a little bit of fat tissue or hematopoietic tissue because you know the bone will be producing some of the red blood cells. I can talk about that more in, in, in another podcast. But that's essentially what the, the, the whole process of intermembrane ossification. But let's see what Google has to offer us. Because I, I think like I'll, Google always brings like something like interesting for us. I mean, if you know what to look for. So let's essentially uh, look here in Google the process known as intermembrane ossification. Let's see what the images will bring for us. So let's scroll down here. Yeah, you can see like this, the, the, the cells here. Let me see if I find something interesting. Yeah, I, I like this is a good one. Let's see what this page is. I think, well, oh, here. 
the University of New South Wales, Sydney, Australia. They, they have like a beautiful image here. I'm going to click like to see the full image here. And this is the ossification center. And this is like a, 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 a head of a baby that is about 12 weeks. And you can see the, the beautifully stained here in, in this um, image. And the trabeco, the woven bone here. See, like it looks like, like a mesh. You can see like the... the the temporal bone here that's going to be formed by this process of, um, in, um, of intermembranous ossification as well. So this shows actually like a very imp interesting aspect of, of intermembranous ossification. The other thing that it creates, it, it is uh, at least during your your childhood, and I said I would mention like the, the duration of of this process. It creates uh, what what you know as the 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 soft spot of a baby. So the soft spot, you, you've heard of this ter term, it actually has the technical name of fontanelles. So the fontanelles are the, the, the bones of the cranial uh, skull bones that are yet to be fused. And this process of intermembranous ossification will proceed throughout, like, maybe like to 12 to 18 months that's like how long it usually takes for the soft spot to be closed let's see if we can actually find like a, a better like picture of this here on google so the fontanelles let's see let's click in, in, in images here and interesting enough like uh, the, there's this like this picture of these babies here and you can see like the the the, the bones that are that are yet to be fused Let's get this guy here. Let's see if we can mm, copy the. Let me open it first. Where did it go? This guy here. So, what, what you can see about this baby here is that if you look at the outline, you can see actually the outline of the fontanelles here. See, like around here. There's a depression here. My guess is that this baby is actually dehydrated because it, it should not have that sort of depression in the in the head of a baby. Most likely he is dehydrated. So what is the function of the fontanelles then? Well, they flex during labor, and with that, the baby can actually like pass through without uh, uh, because the head is way too big for for um, to pass through the through the birth canal. To allow, let's put it that way, to allow head to pass through birth canal. Alright, that's pretty much it like for intermembranous ossification and, and, and the fontanelles for, for that matter. What is interesting though about this intermembranous ossification is that these fontanelles will, will, we will not close to the baby's 12 to 18 months. And at the same time, if you think of like the clavicle, is also another process that is being formed by intermembranous ossification, also does not get ossified, completely ossified, formed until you actually like 12, 18 months. So it's not uncommon to have babies with uh, with fractures in the clavicles. It's probably one of the most common like uh, fractures in babies is in the clavicle. Because it's still a weak, it's made of like woven bone, it's, it's being ossified, being formed there, and that's the reason why you have many babies with injuries in the clavicle. That's it for intramembranous notification, guys.